All right. Now this is the one I want. Seven fifty-five. Yeah. This is that. Yeah, that's great. Ninety-five-year-old Pearl Harbor survivor Jack Moore watches in virtual reality what he actually lived on the morning of December seventh. Hey, go ahead and look down. Down further. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> whoa. <laughs> tell uh, tell me it's a lie. And, and then there's a. With high-tech goggles and a virtual reality app by Pacific Historic Parks, the images of planes in the sky and battleships on fire come to life. Moore was on board the USS Sacramento during Japan's sneak attack. The first uh, few minutes I looked up into the sun and I said to myself, this is going to be my last day alive. It's a rich 75-year history now made for millennials. The Pacific Historic Parks held a reception at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center where visitors can virtually tour the attack on Battleship Row, walk the decks of the USS Arizona, and visit the Arizona Memorial. They can actually witness their history, their legacy, the way that young people are going to see it today. It's going to be great in terms of being able to convey their stories to the next generation. That's the whole theme this year, of this year's commemoration, is honoring the past and inspiring the future. And that's what motivates 96-year-old Pearl Harbor survivor and Kailua resident Al Rodriguez. I like to tell my story so they can pass on the story to, their, to the next generation so they know what, how many of these brave men and women, what they did to save our country.